A dermoid cyst is a sac-like growth that's present at birth. We spoke with Dr. Michael Mahonen at Children's Hospital of Orange County, who told us exactly what a dermoid cyst is and how it can be treated. A dermoid cyst is a small little, what the family describes as a bump, that a child will typically present with on the head. A dermoid cyst can also be under the skull in the brain, but most commonly we see a dermoid cyst as a little bump maybe around the eye, maybe on the forehead, sometimes behind the ear. Those would be the most uh, common places that we see one. And it would manifest to you as just a little bump that's gotten bigger over time. A like dermoid cyst actually starts at about four weeks of the pregnancy. So it starts with one cell when the baby's still in the womb. And essentially what this is, the brain and spinal cord develop like a tube. As that tube closes, there's one cell that came off of a layer called ectoderm. That one cell then got trapped under the skin. You now have a piece of skin that's trapped under the skin. Well, this skin just falls off. This skin that's trapped under the skin builds up with dead layers of skin. So if you look at these uh, under a microscope, not only do you see dead skin, but you see hair, and you see sweat glands, and you see glands that we would have in our skin. The problem is, is that you have layers and layers of dead skin, and essentially live tissue that's making more dead skin. They get larger and larger. I recall years ago a child I had that uh, had come from Mexico, and she had one that she said was just a little bump on her head when she was little. The time I saw her, she was 14. It was as big as a peach. It had gone all the way down into the brain tissue. So they, get, they grow very slowly. It's not like a fast-growing cancer. But the problem is they do grow, and they get bigger with time. Is a dermoid cyst a type of cancer? It's not really a cancer per se when you look at the cell type, but it's a tumor. So it's a foreign body that's growing and growing and growing, but it doesn't spread to other parts of your body. It doesn't go to your liver or your lungs. It stays in that area, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It almost grows like a pearl. It is fairly common. I don't know the exact number, but it's probably one in, in uh, three to 400 children will have a dermoid. Dr. Mahonen discussed the diagnosis of a dermoid cyst. Fortunately, you can usually diagnose these because they're very round with smooth borders. They don't have irregular borders. They don't typically infiltrate and fungate and grow with a bunch of lines, and they don't typically destroy bone very fast. They just cause a very smooth erosion of the bone and the surrounding tissue of which they're abutting. Treatment of a dermoid is purely surgical. You have to take the entire capsule and the tumor out to make it go away. There are several treatment options as far as surgery goes. You can now take these out through a little incision, maybe just a half inch long, where you can put an endoscope in there and then work on a TV camera in front of you and work around that, taking it out with an endoscopic lighted assistance. And it's a very nice procedure that minimizes the scar. The patient can go home the same day. You can get a gross total resection with this, and the outcomes are excellent taking this out with an endoscope. Obviously, the anesthetic is much less because you have a very short incision. The pain is much less. Uh, the children typically only need Tylenol after you take it out using an endoscope-assisted removal. On some of the larger ones that might be deeper and involved in the skull, it would require a larger uh, incision, perhaps more bone removal, and we would keep those children in the hospital overnight. But for the ones that are around the eyes and in the midline and behind the ears, it's a very nice operation. And many specialties treat it. The plastic surgeons will treat it. General surgeons will treat it, uh, ophthalmologists might even treat it, but typically a neurosurgeon treats it because it's something that involves the skull bone. The recurrence rate is fortunately very, very low on these because you can get the capsular elements out. There are other tumors, for example, tumors that are in the brain tissue. You can't take wide margins out, so you have to leave elements of this behind. When these are outside the skull, you can take wide margins of it, and so typically the recurrence rate is very low. It's under 5%.